what's going on wolfpack fam it's your boy kid back at it again hope everyone is doing great um we got some more ricky gervais show for you guys today we're on freaking season two already uh this is episode one clive warren let's get it guys let's do this yeah. now everyone knows over the past sort of like few years my big pet project it hasn't been my own career. It's been Get Carl Famous. Yeah. I want people to huh? recognise him in the street, come up to him and say, you bald-headed mank twat. I well, want... let me tell you now, Rick, I've been out and about, and a lot of people have come up to me and said, it has Carl Pilkington got a head like a fucking orange. Well, so I've had to instantly confirm the answer to be yes. But he's had a call. He had a call recently from a film company asking him if he's got any ideas for movies. Now, how desperate... In what dire straits must the British film industry be that they're going, yeah. we need Carl Pilkerton? We have hit rock bottom. And he went along for an interview. So what, and you went in and you... I went, I went along and um, had a meeting. Nice. And uh, they just said, right, you know, got any ideas? And uh, sort of said, you know, what, what are you thinking? What sort of thing are you after? Are you after action? <laughs> Thriller? Whatever. Because you can provide any of it. I love that, that he's playing it cool, like you've come to the right person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. time's precious, what do you need? He is playing it very nonchalant, even the way he's just got, you know, he's just like, yeah. Like, hey, what you need? What you need? I got you, I'm the man for the job, let's go. Yeah, yeah I'm Carl Pilk, the movie doctor, what do you need, <laughs> Papa? So, thought of this idea sort of on the spot. Good. That always by him. Um, no, but sometimes that's how good ideas come up, don't yeah. they? Just, just so a lot of yours have come up, yeah. No, but when if you just randomly. talk, I find that your mouth comes out with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> out of his right, there's another right. quote. Right. There's another quote. That, <laughs> if you talk, that, your mouth comes out with that, stuff. That, 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 to me, is stands along with what were those things in Gremlins called? No, but what uh, I mean, you, if you sit there and try and use your brain to do it, right. it doesn't work the same. Just just keep talking, just keep your, keep your mouth talking, Maybe and eventually it will come out with something pretty good. <laughs> that is exactly what Plato said. Well, uh, so to anyway. Aristotle, he said, "Sit down. I've got an idea for you." Uh, Aristotle said, "Plato, I'd want you to go right. Just keep talking, and eventually your brain will come out with stuff." <laughs> so what I thought, I just started off by saying like actors' names and that who I thought should be in it, because then that's giving more. It's building. Right. Okay, so who's you say? Who'd you say? So I said, "Right, I'm seeing uh, mm. well, that's Clive Warren." Warren. Clive Warren? <laughs> Who the fuck's Clive Warren? Who's Clive Warren? The one who was in Closer. Clive Owen. Clive Owen. Right, all right. So, did they look at you like a fucking idiot? Fuck? <laughs> so they all started trying to figure out, who's this Clive Warren we've not heard about? We, uh, he, he must be amazing. Yeah, he's man, on Clive Warren. Get me Clive Warren <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> Get Clive me Clive Warren. And I said, uh, Rebecca De Mornay, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> She hasn't been in a film uh, for 15 years, has she? Clive Warren and Rebecca De Mornay. <laughs> they thought he was a genius. They've never thought of putting Clive Warren with Rebecca De Mornay. But hang on a minute, you could have... You could have oh any God. film star. Yeah. This is your fantasy yeah. casting, yeah. and you choose a bloke that doesn't exist, <laughs> and a woman who hasn't been on TV or in a film for 10 years. Oh, God! Why didn't oh. you choose, you know... A, someone a, who existed. Jayla or someone who's a oh big star. Oh, God! Clive <laughs> Warren! Ricky's laugh never gets old. It never gets old. <laughs> Oh, so gosh. anyway, starts off, and the people, you know, you're seeing into their lives from yeah. like the morning. Yeah. So it's okay. like a nice sunny day. Yeah. Radio's on. You know, they're going about the day. They're having the breakfast. They're saying, "Oh, what we're we doing tonight?" And you're thinking, "Oh, they've got a nice life." Mm. She, she's like, "Love you and all that." Yeah. He walks out the house, gets hit by a bus. Damn. Oh. So Clive Warren's. The final destination. I don't know if Clive Warren would take that part because he, he ain't doesn't... got much to do. Has no, he? I don't. If I if I if I know Clive Warren, and I think you do. I think I do. Carry on. So he, he's hit by a bus. So he's so dead. he's hit by a bus and that. Jesus. The titles come up. Oh, it's got yeah. you. Right. She's Starring devastated. She's, Clive she's fed up. She's devastated. And... Starring him for five seconds. Jesus. Nah. Um. Doctor says. Clive's dead. <laughs> Who's playing the doctor? Jack Nicholson house. Oh, um, yeah. Sort of. Uh, what's that fella who was in Independence Day? Um, Will Smith. Will Smith. No, the the, the the. He just say Will Smith. Old the old black fella. Uh, Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Yeah. Get him in. He's Morgan Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says. Morgan Your husband's dead. She's like, oh god. What happens then is he says, but listen. What we can do now. We can take the brain out. Right. Right. And, and, and a fact that I'd read that day before the meeting, this isn't in the film now, this is me. Right, but right. lucky, yeah, okay. luckily. I read a fact. thing about how the brain can, it can run on half of it. You've actually got a full brain, run it on half. So 
this is this was in my mind still. Well, half your mind. So I said, what happens is Morgan Freeman says, been working on this. You can run you can run your life on half a brain. Right. She's sort of a bit like, what are you tell me this for now? My, my husband's just died like twenty minutes ago. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, but if we're going to do this, we've got to act quick. She's like, do what? He says, whilst his brain's not fully dead. Because it, it stays awake for a bit when you oh, think Oh, he's not dead then, fine. No, no, but he, he is, but they found out that right. it stays awake a little bit. No, 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 no. No, so, no. he's gone. No, no, yeah. by a bus. Yeah, no, he's, he's dead. dead. If the brain's dead, you are dead. Clive Warren's dead. And if, if, no. if the brain's not dead, you're not dead. No, but it's like people in a coma. They're dead, aren't they? But no, the brain no, no, dead. no, no, they're not in a coma. No, they're not dead. Coma. No, they come out of comas, don't All right, they? then he's in a coma. He's been hit by the bus, but the chances are he's not going to come out of that coma, but his brain is still awake. So change that. That's easily done. Uh, hold on, though. I, I like this fact that he's in a coma, so they're going, look, he's definitely going to die in this coma. Take the brain out now. Pop the brain out. But why is that such a weird thing when that's what they do now? That's what they do now. What is? That's what they do. What? They do that. What? What? what, 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 what a brain transplant. Seconds, bro. No, but when, like, how, how I've signed that donor card, yeah. like, if anything happens to me... No, no, no. no. There's the no lot. such thing as a brain donor. Oh, we've explained to you before. Yeah, but they're working on it. They've said something about Einstein. Mr. They, they, they messed about with his brain for ages, trying to work out if it was full of stuff. That's what they're doing. They're working on that. There's loads of things that doctors are doing that we don't know about. I've seen some weird stuff on the internet. Yeah, I know you have. Yeah. I saw a programme on Channel 5 where a monkey brain was still alive and it was stuck on a stick. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and they, they, you were watching monkeys. the magic roundabout. They poked it and it reacted. <laughs> Right. So it's still alive. It's being kept alive, and it's only a matter of time. What's what's the brain link? This is shit from Shredder. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Krang and shit with the freaking brain. It's up to. It's as long as you can up. link it up to the eyes, and somehow so it can tell the arms and legs what to do. You're laughing. I love that. As, imagine a, a team full of doctors going. Well, we're going to try and do brains like a Carl. Um, as long as you can link this up to the eyes and tell the arms and legs what to do, we're laughing. <laughs> Cheers, Carl. See you later. <laughs> then what happens is they say do you want half of his brain in your head half she, of his brain she in said, head she says oh, definitely shit. not I'm having you struck off she starts screaming she calls the police he gets arrested yeah, you just said that years ago when Morgan Freeman's got arrested I do not remember him from Independence Day man where did he get this guy from Independence Day from and people can have like someone else's arm put on their body and stuff <laughs> yeah but he's only in a coma yeah. No, but he's not going to come out of that coma. Right. So, so it's like this or nothing. It's right. like, look, you know, what, what we're going to do here? We can either turn the switch off yeah. or we can put his head in your head. But why would but you... So, why... so what he does, so what they do then, they're going to take half his brain... Half of his brain, take but... out half of hers, pop it in place. Why would she do movie? that? Because she loves him. But hold on, well, no, no, wait, 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 wait. What would she then be? Because this is what I'm trying to tell okay, you. Okay, okay, sorry. What happens is, he, he explains all this, so I mean, this would probably cover about 20 minutes in the film, but I'm just rushing I, you. I just switched off, now. but yeah. No, you wasn't. This, this bit would have you. Mm. So what, well, what... I'd have actually left when I. I wouldn't have even gone in to see a film starring uh, Clive Warren <laughs> and Rebecca de Mornay, unless, <laughs> unless it was 1985. <laughs> so, so the thing is. She's the same as you. She says the same thing. She goes, why would I do that, Doctor? Mm. And uh, he goes, well, what will happen is he's gone, but you'll you'll have his thoughts. So in the morning when you say, oh, I don't know what to have, well, they have cornflakes, his bit of the brain will sort of... Have say, a wheat bit. Have shredded wheat or yeah. whatever. And she's like, oh, yeah, good idea. Sorry, sorry. So the point of this film is that the dead man can remind her what <laughs> breakfast cereal she likes. Yeah. So the thought... When what do you she... mean, yes? So that's it, is it? No, 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 that's not the only wait, thing. Wait, oh, wait. This movie sucks. Here's a question real quick, before I forget, because it's going to make me forget. So if she has half the brain, right, it's, it's going to be a bad question. If she plays with herself, right, is it him playing with her or not? You know, if she's, you know, she's touching something of hers, it's now he having fun with her or is it still her? Question for you guys. I mean, this is only Act that's, One. That's just the first bit. Everything's going well. She so, has it done. So what is what? Who is she? Is she herself? She's Rebecca Nimone. Yeah. But, but Rebecca. now and with again, with 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 him chipping in with a bit of voiceover. So the idea is, it's all going well at the beginning. She's so she can't decide what so, to so wear. So she's got. He, so she's had half of her brain taken out and put in a bin. Yeah. Okay. And and Clive Warren's uh, half has been put in there. So now she's walking round. Okay. So yeah. she's like a schizophrenic. 
No, like I say, the brain is alive, so it's all going well when she leaves hospital, yeah. and she gets a first taste of it, and it's a bit weird to get hold of, because she's, she's sort of... Uh, I think when she signs herself out, he's sort of fighting, writing his name and stuff, so there's a few sort of technical things Kinks. that, that yeah. she has to get used to. And does Clive's brain what does know he that think? he's now inside her brain? Um, <laughs> He don't even know. Does that matter? Well, I would say it matters yeah, because... Yeah. Otherwise, yes, it does matter, Carl. What's 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 he thinking? Can, I mean, what's what, the I mean, point of this? Why has she gone along with this? Because she really loves him. But what? But what's in it for him? What does she think? Well, say if I died, yeah. and Suzanne said, "Go on, I'll have half of Carl's," right? Yeah, yeah, she would wake much, up right? in the morning to a thought of me, sort of going, "Oh, you never guess what I've just thought about, or whatever." I'd still be there. The rest of your body is sort of waste, isn't it? But like the rest you. of your body's sort of waste. No, it is, kind of. If When, when someone dies, it's yeah. not that person anymore, is it? You can't have a chat with them. So if you could have someone's brain in your head when they're dead, you'd have it, wouldn't you? What? I do not want to have anybody else's brain but my own in my head. Freak that shit. What are you talking about? Why would I have Baloney. someone's brain in my head when they're dead? Well, what I've else? got a perfectly good brain. So you're telling me you wouldn't have it done then? Uh, 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 of course I fucking wouldn't. I, I can <laughs> also categorically state I wouldn't know. Yeah, but you're saying yeah, that now, know. but once you're in that position that someone who, you know, you're loving that dies, if the doctor said, do you want it? No! Uh, no. I go, no! It's madness! I don't think you... I'll just stay with a freaking picture. Screw that. I'm with I'm with Ricky on this one. It's Wait. madness! All right, all right, all right. Let's... So tell me a typical bit of dialogue. Um, well, we've done the breakfast scene. Yeah, that, that okay, was dynamite. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking Oscar winning. Yeah. Can we do lunch? Um, there may be, like, at the funeral, because even though the brain's still alive, they still have the funeral, and you can have, like, a funny bit where they stood around the grave and, like, there's some relation there who he doesn't like, and she can start laughing, and the family are looking at her going, why is she laughing? Yeah. And she's sort of laughing, and he's saying something a bit rude, going, look at her head. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Looks like Stuff a on the orange. family. Yeah. <laughs> a little cameo for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, mm. so you have all that, and people are sort of liking the film, thinking, oh, it's quite funny, this. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. then you hit them hard. <laughs> it's the most, oh, it's the like most ludicrous it. idea for a film I've ever heard. Oh, it's, right, the, it's the maddest. I wouldn't it's, see it, this honestly, shit, it really is the ramblings of a I mental have to case. Say, though, right. I have to say, though, I am hooked now. Mm -hmm. I want to know what's going to happen next in the story. Then what happens is <laughs> she. Here's the voice go, Leslie, where are you? Something. Right. Her name's not Leslie. No. No. So she's thinking, who's Leslie? Yeah. So in her mind, she's going, who's Leslie? Uh-oh. He's going, oh. So he's, he's thought, hang on, I've let something slip I've here. let something slip, she so she's going, answer me. Oh. He goes quiet on her. Oh. So. He's, for, he was having an affair. This is, this is the thing. So she's trying to hunt down. Leslie. Leslie. And he's got to stop her thinking it. Then what happens is, I mean, you know... Where are your backs? So he's got to hunt down Leslie. So he's got... She's got to hunt down mm. Leslie. Damn, it's a woman, is it? Another movie. Leslie or it's is it another a woman. Right. But what happens is, I mean, without ruining the end for everyone, what about what to sort is? of happen is... <laughs> oh, yeah, because we, we don't want to ruin it for them, because this, <laughs> yeah. will be, this will be filling the multiplexes in no yeah. time. No, it's, it's the greatest love story ever told, set in the head. But listen, let's I just get to Hang the on end. a sec, though, Carl. I don't... Yeah, you've got to tell us the end. I don't think you can let people no, come listening on. Come on, hanging and waiting for the film. Just let your mouth talk. Right, so yeah, what I, I said was, maybe what happens is, his brain mm. is more powerful than hers. Right, oh, how, it's now, what, how is there power? I don't, why is there no power involved? What I mean is, her brain was running the rest of her body. Mm. Now he's taking over. That it's gets more shit. powerful mm. and overrules her body. Okay, yeah. She then fancies Leslie. <laughs> so, so it's a hold on. <laughs> what the frick? Oh shit, this, this part is selling me a little bit. This part is crazy. So, this is building up to a lesbian. <laughs> le <laughs> what the, well, it's what? trendy, isn't it, that? So just have a bit of that at the end. And so hold on. So he overpowers her. She's getting so sexual. So she is now a lesbian. What's oh. Leslie getting out of this? Why does Leslie think, hold on, why is my because dead lover's wife coming on to me? Because this is what I'm saying to you. It's r relationships. Sexual it's the love relationships. of two brains. Right, OK. Again, can That's anyone out there, line. can we make that into it? That's a quote. The relationships is a love of two brains. <laughs> well, it's not I did not have sexual relations with this lady. Now, he's got something there. He's got something yeah. there. But my point is this. Why is Leslie suddenly turned lesbian? Because she loves the brain. But does she know this is Clive Warren? Like, Rebecca will say something now and again. Like, oh, I like me... Minge. <laughs> <laughs> I like me food done like this or whatever. And it's all about... I love like my food cooked. <laughs> <laughs> 
for my egg. Wait a minute, Clive Warren on this group. Cook. Yeah, I'm, I'm in two minds about this bacon. Yeah. What, what I'm going to turn into a lesbian. People Shredded wheat. People like what they like. And it's Ooh. the same way, like I've said to you before, with someone who's been going out with a woman and then is found out that she's got a twin sister and they divorce and that first her. twin and go out with the other twin. It's eh. all the same. You're after the same thing, aren't you? Yes, but that... When a cat dies, you buy another one. <laughs> it's the same thing. You want that same... Yeah, but you don't necessarily something. switch your sexual orientation. In the case of your twin scenario, they both look the same. Yeah. Has there, has there ever been one where um, it's a uh, twin boy and girl? Go, well, I was going out with her, but, I mean, he looks a bit <laughs> like her. <laughs> I love boobs, now I like cock. This is your problem. You don't know anything. <laughs> he likes cock. And this theory about if your mouth talks enough, the brain will kick in soon. It hasn't. <laughs> This scene is crazy. Oh, chimpanzee, that is running down a pen. Diary time. <laughs> Extracts from his famous diary. Yeah. Box jellyfish, crocodiles, snakes, blue ring octopus, red black spiders, funnel web spiders, great white sharks. Ooh. Just some of the reasons that put me off going to Australia. <laughs> no Australia. Every creature is bigger and angrier than anywhere else on the world. <laughs> Why is I put that? it down to two things. One, it could either be because spiders and snakes and the like normally hide under rocks. The Earth is one big rock. Australia's at the bottom of the big rock, and they're trying to hide under it. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, you are a maniac! You're just insane. thinking about it, thinking about where spiders go and that, and that works, doesn't it? No! Why doesn't that work? Because like there's rock? no real upside down and bottom of the earth, is it? It's all relative to what? It's relative to what? A map that you well, saw. Well, it's a coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> all no, right, okay, read on. Jesus. I've heard that a lot of people go camping in Australia, which I think's mental. If I was to fly all that way, I'd want a decent bed. Mm. Plus, I wouldn't be camping in a place where there are killer spiders wandering around. I agree. I've only been camping a few times, and each time I was glad when it was over. The last time was last year in Lyme Regis. Yeah. When did you go camping in Lyme Regis? Last year. It's all right, Lime Regis. But it was all a bit of a nightmare, because I was going with my mate, and uh, he said he knew someone who knew knew someone who had a bit of land in the garden. Mm. Um, we had a bit of land in the garden? What's the point, though, innit? You know, what's the point of camping in someone's garden where there's a sort of, like, a spa down the road and, like, a pub? No, because you're by the sea, aren't you? It's getting away from it all, seeing the world. It's not if you're in someone's front garden. No, back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, so, there's even less to see except three fences. No, but it's private, isn't it? So the thing is, he, he said, oh, it's a great garden, uh, the, the owners are away, mm. and there's a toilet, an outside mm. toilet that they have Getting for like, when they have the parties yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So we get there, and this lad who knew about this bit of land... Someone's back garden. Well, yeah. Uh, ..said, oh, you can't use it, they haven't gone on holiday. <laughs> so now you're stuck in the middle of a big civilised conurbation called Lyme Regis. Well, how are you going to survive? <laughs> well, we ended up just sort of clipping on the beach. But, uh, Did you pitch your tent on the beach? Put the tent on the beach. We found somewhere where there was a load of rubbish. So we oh, thought nice. that's the place to go. Oh, yeah. I love no. it. You stay with all the flies, stay with all the freaking nasty shit. Oh, hell no, man. I went camping a couple of times. I loved camping growing up. Uh, I've done all types of camping from, um, you know, staying out in a the tent, there's cabins, um, even trailer parks and stuff. I've done all kinds of different types of forms of uh, camping. Love that shit. Saw bears. That shit was scary and shit. Luckily, I didn't get eaten, but, um, yeah, camping is actually cool, so I... But I've had friends that don't really like camping. You guys been camping before? Well, Municipal that, tip. What was it? Was it was it chemical waste or just, like, you know... No, just, um, just syringes stuff. and... Oh, uh, but, but listen, though, you've got to think sure. about that. Rusty, if, what's the rusty? If there's rubbish there, it means it was a good place to camp. Why? Jesus. Why? Because other people have camped there. Right. So that's how you've got to look at it. It's like, it's a way, that's like a little tip of... So you um, could have slept in thing, a public lavatory. Yeah, yeah. This one's nice. What is covered in shit? <laughs> it means other people have had a shit here. <laughs> Welcome to our five-star hotel. You'll notice vomit over all the fucking walls. So that means people have had a good time here. They got right pissed up and threw their lungs out. They got up. pissed off. <laughs> it's logic is crazy. So that's, that's where we put down the tent. We uh, put down the tent there. And then Some what was annoying is... He puts down the tent. We, uh, we, what's the name? We, uh, it was already up. It, it was carried already, it all the way, carried it all the way there. They weren't let's pack it down. Yeah. Uh, the weird thing was... As soon as we set oh, up, some shit. other people turned up. Oh, that's all the rubbish tip. <laughs> <laughs> Holiday makers, they... Uh, uh... They started setting up their tents. Yeah. Like, oh. No, near... Look, there's some nappies over there. Yeah. Near, near the nappies. And um, they offered us some sausages. Oh, right. My mates would all ignore them. That's, like, code for uh, swingers. What? Swingers oh. club! 
What? So there were some people cooking some sausages, yeah. saying, would you like a sausages? We've made too much. And you it's said no. Don't talk swinging. to strangers. It's like we want to get away from it all. Yeah. We don't want someone... Bothering you, know, you It and starts shit. off with sausages, doesn't it? And so, then uh, so you know but, it. but what do these people look like? Uh, they were about 45. Who were they, that? A man and a woman. A man and a woman. So what was in it for the bloke? <laughs> Uh, some people like that, don't they? <laughs> that means you, you say, well, I want the bald one, love. Oh, shit. If it's like wife swapping, should, well, should one of you be a wife? No, but I don't I don't know all the rules and that, but... Uh, He's just got a real thing for fucking oranges. And we didn't want any sausages anyway, so we just sort of I said, don't believe sausages is a code, a code for swingers. <laughs> because eventually, how many times they give someone sausages and they go, well, get your pants off, and they go, well, we just have some sausages. They go, oh, this isn't working, this code. But why would, they be, code. why would we be being offered sausages? Because they're nice people and they're making sausages. You're barbecuing, baby! Yeah. Makes you wonder. We don't, let's not trust these people. Let's move our tent nearer to the corpse. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, that was the camping. Oh, he had a nice time camping. September 30th, going away with Suzanne's mum and dad. We're meeting them at Madeira Airport as they're flying in from Manchester. Yeah. The plane was full and I had a headache. There was a baby sat behind us that was crying its eyes out for the whole flight. Oh. The mother of it said it was upset because its ears were hurting. So were mine. Correct. <laughs> 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 Ricky's got a good laugh, man. <laughs> we went to try and find a supermarket. Suzanne's man was having a go at her dad because he didn't have a shirt on. She Easy. said he looks a mess and is embarrassed to be seen with him. It's their ruby anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> That's why we went away. Oh, yeah. I bought a fan to put in our room to drown out the sound of the mopeds. I've heard Wayne Rooney does the same thing with a vacuum cleaner. What? If you've just got a noise, um, that's constant. It makes you nod off, and it's it drowns out every other background noise. So all you've got is like, if it's a vac, it's just, <laughs> and if that's constant for like all night, mm. you just nod People off. People next door going, they've got their vacuum cleaner on again. The white noise poke, actually. Poke the chicken. <laughs> that's how nuclear wars start. <laughs> yeah, it works. Doesn't work. We watch like that, man. Bugs, drown out everything. I tried yeah. them. I didn't like it, did I? Why not? Because I could hear my heartbeat. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. oh, you're such a strange little creature. Oh, oh. Shit. Didn't do much this morning. Just sat by the pool, saving insects that flew into it. What a nice guy. <laughs> what a nice <laughs> guy. Like fucking Noah. That's right. You see that thing go. How were you like... saving them? Did you wait for them to hit the water, then fish them out, or you grab oh. them in the air? Oh. Stuck my finger on the top. They grabbed on, <laughs> lifted it off. And what? Yeah, when they, like some sort of. Insect lifeguard, you'd see someone land and you'd go, Right, that's me, dun, 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 and you'd go in there. But it's hard to joke. turn a sort of a blind eye to stuff like that because you know that's something you know you're witnessing death. And if you can save something, you do, don't you? You do your Such bit. a good guy. And at night, I'd sort of think, Have they learnt the lesson or will they be back and will they be dead in here tomorrow? But if they can get an extra day, I've done my bit. I can't do more than that. What a nice I'm on holiday. Do your bit. I'm lucky enough to see the world. Do your bit. I love it. I did my bit. I love it. I love it. I love the fact that he was running around saving flies and things. It's just something... There's something so sort of... Beetle. <laughs> an old lady drowned. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was saving a beetle. Hey, you save her? Oh, shit. Man, some of these stories get more bizarre and... More bizarre, more bizarre, but in, in a good way. Um... Uh, yeah, the opening scene with that movie, man, started off sounding kind of whack and shit. But once it started getting kind of sexual, it kind of got us a little bit more interested in stuff like that. Uh, watch one of you guys tell me in the comments that that's actually a freaking movie. I'm going to be very uh, shocked if I don't see some comment like that. Um, the camping scene was very cool, too, because, uh, yeah, I, I loved camping growing up and stuff like that. I've uh, had very good experience with camping. Um, it's crazy because a lot of times, man, some of the stories that they talk in, I always find a way to relate a little bit to some of the stories, find some uh, common ground with it. I don't know if that's a gift or a curse that we do that stuff, but it's a, a fantastic start to season two. One thing I can tell is that the pace of the show, at least, was very fast. That, that 20 minutes or however long that episode was went so quick, um, I didn't even, re didn't even realize it was over and stuff. So that's a good thing about the uh, show. I always feel very strongly that if the show 
you know, you're not checking like, damn, when is this shit over? It, it's an indicator for me that it's a good show. So season two starting off pretty darn strong. I can't believe we wrapped up, um, you know, season one. That was like 13 episodes. So great start to season two. Carl's uh, theory is getting crazier and crazier. Some of them you could see kind of happening, but, uh, and some of these shit's getting kind of bizarre and stuff like that. So just his mind works. In a, in, a, in, a, in a better way than my mind works or something like that. But uh, fantastic episode. You guys let me know um, what you thought about the episode in the comments below. His diary shit is always really funny. Um, Ricky Gervais's laugh is just contagious. Uh, you know, I love his laugh. It's it's just very contagious. You, you almost feel like, man, if he's getting dissed on, Carl's getting dissed on, and he's laughing, it just throws that extra jab at it, man. Uh, Steve always taking shots on him on, on Carl's brain. It's always cracking me up, but I loved it, guys. Um, more shit coming your way, guys. You already know the drill. You know Still Game coming back again. Um, I will say this, though. When we do wrap up some of these shows, I will be a little bit sad that we will be wrapping up some shows, but I do know that we'll get into new things and we'll dive into a lot of new shows. Um, eventually, we'll poll uh, some some of the lists that you guys did. I'll probably remake you guys. Um, Say some of the suggestions down the road, and we'll poll it and see, um, you know, which ones get in there, and then I'll try from from the list and stuff like that. But love you guys. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Um, how you guys do on a daily basis. I love you. We'll see you soon. Peace and love. Peace.